Made a century break in the last frame, and every reason to suspect he'd make one in this. In fact, if there's the only thing I could fault him on in the first half of this match, his positional play he just didn't seem to be able to 72. get the pace of the table. Not the case now, though. He's got that cue ball on a piece of string. 73. And uh, it's all blacks so far. So this is uh, a one for Ding has never made one in competition. 80. If he could make one here, it would be worth uh, 25,000 pounds plus 10,000 pounds for the highest break. Yes, it is. It's not a bad chance, it's just those two reds in the middle of the table that are together. They don't look available into any of the corner pockets or middle pockets, so that's a possible stumbling block. 80. You'll be well aware, of course, that it is a maximum, so there's no way to play for anything but black off this red. 89. Once again, not got the ideal angle to play that cannon, but he may be forced to play it. He's just having a look at the availability of these reds into the far corner pockets. He's not perfect on this black. He may be just worth taking a chance on one of these reds into the corner pockets. Leaving the cue ball about there, he's thinking. Anything else, and it could go wrong. I didn't think it was a bad choice, but I think the problem is of the two reds is only the left hand red will red will pot. Eighty six. This could be the key to a maximum. In the 33-year history of the Masters, there's only been one maximum, and that was by Kirk Stevens against Jimmy White down the road at the Conference Centre in 1984. It's not that bad. It should have been better, in all honesty, but he can still drop this red in and get position on the black, but he would have liked to have been straighter. Liked to have been straighter. 105. Played that with a lot of right hand side and controlled it pretty well. He's still not perfect on the black. He's an angle on this flat. He's a little bit straight than he would have liked, but I think he's just got enough angle. Deep screw off the side cushion. Trace aside, taking him perfect on the yellow, and this is perfect because the yellow just wasn't on his spot, made it slightly awkward, couldn't have played it better. 122. Well, it looks a formality, Clive, but I can assure you it, it's anything but. 
125. Yes, it's a test of nerve now, more than technique, but uh, Ding's nerve is proved uh, equal to most challenges. Side. No, it looks like he's straight enough just to screw back for the black. I saw a puff of the cheeks then. Thank you. 